Hey beautiful babes, your girl Sweet Angel, and welcome to Beauty by Sweet Angel. If this is your first time visiting, so glad to have you hanging out with us today. If you would, do everybody a favor, make sure you tap that subscribe button and the notification bell. That's the little bell next to the subscribe button. Hit all, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload. We are ready to explore. Back into my stash again, I found more items that I wanted to talk about, y'all. So get ready for today's video, and if you would, I want to make sure you're okay so if you would definitely do me a big favor drop a heart in the comment section for me yes and let me know what city and state you're watching from let me know that you're doing good and i definitely would appreciate that because i am thinking about each and every one of y'all at this time right now and y'all i got some new robes it's warm outside now, so I had to get rid of my nice fleece robes because it was just too warm. So I'm gonna be wearing a lot of waffle robes. I'm really attracted to the white ones right now. So if you see this, I did get it from Amazon. If you'd like to get one for yourself, make sure you click my Amazon store link down below. I would appreciate that so much. But y'all, I am I think I'm gonna rock white robes, you know, because they're, I don't know, I just like them. They're so clean and so fresh and so pure. <laughs> so I have this definitely picked up several of these. There's different styles on, on Amazon, but I will share the links of the ones that I do have. So if you're interested in that, but I'm just fresh faced today. That's about it. But I wanted to let y'all know what I was digging on in my stash today. Let's go over it and talk about the amazing health benefits of honey. We're going to talk about the benefits of it and also the uses of honey. We have several of them right here in front of us. Some I still have links to, so I will link the ones I have below. Other ones I did pick up at various stores, so I really couldn't find a link to them. But for what I do have, check out the description box below. Now let's talk about honey and its uses, its benefits, and what great role it plays in your health. Regular honey. Regular honey is smooth and uniform in color. Organic honey is honey in its natural state, meaning it has not been strained, filtered, or heated. Manuka honey is honey sourced from the Manuka plant and contains different UMF ratings depending on the product. Organic honey is when the flowers that the bees get the nectar from has not been sprayed with chemicals. As long as the beekeepers control where the bees go, they'll know that they're getting honey from organic flowers. And then organic honey has been used throughout history as a folk remedy and has a variety of medical and health benefits. It is even used as a wound treatment in some hospitals. Many of these health benefits are specific to honey that is organic or might I say unpasteurized. The difference between organic honey and honey is that organic honey is not pasteurized or processed and is usually not filtered. In the end, processed honey is nothing more than sugar and high fructose sugar at that. Most of the honey you find is pasteurized in grocery stores. The high heat kills undesirable yeast, can enhance color and texture, removes crystallization and extends shelf life. In the process too, many of the beneficial nutrients are destroyed. Buy it from a trusted local producer if you are interested in trying organic honey. Here are some health benefits to be provided by organic honey. Organic honey is a good source of antioxidants. Organic honey contains a range of antioxidant plant chemicals. Free radicals contribute to the aging process and can also contribute to chronic disease development, such as cancer and heart disease. Research shows that antioxidant compounds can play a role in preventing heart disease in honey called polyphenols. Honey is a rich source of phenols and other antioxidant compounds. Many of these have been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease. They may help 
the heart arteries in your heart dilate, increasing blood flow to your heart. They may also help prevent blood clot formation, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes. Furthermore, one study in rats showed that honey protected the heart from oxidative stress. Then we have antibacterial and antifungal properties of honey. Research has shown that unwanted bacteria and fungus can be killed by organic honey. It naturally contains an antiseptic hydrogen peroxide. Its effectiveness as an antibacterial or antifungal varies depending on the honey, but for these types of infections, it is clearly more than a folk remedy. Organic honey also heals wounds. Now we're looking at, for this, Manuka honey. Manuka honey is used for treating wounds in medical settings as it has been found to be an effective germ killer and also helps to regenerate tissue. Studies show that honey from Manuka can increase healing time and decrease infection. Keep in mind that medical grade is the honey used in hospital settings, meaning it is inspected and sterile. Treating cuts with honey you buy from a store is not a good idea. Honey also promotes burn and wound healing. Topical honey treatment has been used to heal wounds and burns since ancient Egypt and is still common today. A review of 26 studies on honey and wound care found honey to be most effective at healing partial thickness burns and wounds that have become infected after surgery. Honey's healing powers come from its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effects as well as its ability to nourish surrounding tissue. What's more, it can help treat other skin conditions including psoriasis and herpes lesions. Honey is also an effective treatment for diabetic foot ulcers, which are serious complications that can lead to amputation. Honey is also a phytonutrient powerhouse. Phytonutrients are plant compounds that protect the plant from harm. Some, for example, keep insects away from ultraviolet radiation or shield the plant. Honey's phytonutrients are responsible for their antioxidant properties and for their antibacterial and antifungal power. They are also thought to be the reason why organic honey showed benefits in terms of immune boosting and anti-cancer. These valuable nutrients are destroyed by heavy processing. The other thing honey is great for is helping in digestive issues. Honey is sometimes used to treat digestive problems like diarrhea. Now, however, a common cause of stomach ulcers is proven to be effective as a treatment for H. pylori bacteria. It is also a potent prebiotic, meaning it nourishes the good intestinal bacteria that are crucial not only for digestion, but for overall health. Honey can also soothe a sore throat, which I'm sure you've heard of that. Now, if you have a cold, try a spoon of honey. Honey is an old remedy for sore throats. Add it to lemon hot tea when a cold virus strikes you. It also acts as a suppressant of cough. Research has shown that honey is as effective as dextromethorphan, a common ingredient in medication for over-the-counter cough. Take a teaspoonful, one or two straight. Honey can help suppress coughs in children. Coughing is a common problem for children with upper respiratory infections. These infections can affect sleep and the quality of life for both children and parents. However, mainstream medications for cough are not always effective and can have side effects. Interestingly, honey may be a better choice and evidence indicates it is very effective. One study found that honey worked better than two common cough medications. Another study found that it reduced cough symptoms and improved sleep more than the cough medication did. Nevertheless, honey should never be given to children under one year of age due to the risk 
of botulism. Are there any risks? Well, let's talk about it. Organic honey can also carry harmful bacteria such as Clostridium botulinum in addition to beneficial prebiotics and nutrients. This is especially hazardous for babies. Organic honey should never be given to a child under the age of one. Symptoms of botulism and poisoning in infants may include constipation, slow breathing, sagging eyelids, absence of gagging, loss of head control, paralysis that spreads downward, poor feeding, lethargy, weak cry. Symptoms may include initial short periods of diarrhea and vomiting in adults, followed by constipation and more severe symptoms such as blurred vision and weakness of the muscle. See a doctor after eating organic honey if you experience any of these symptoms. Keep in mind that honey should only be consumed in moderation as it is still high in calories and in sugar. And when it comes to using honey for your beauty needs, Honey has some super great skin saving benefits. If you experience acne, honey is naturally antibacterial and it's great for acne treatment and prevention. For those that are up in age or aging, that honey has full antioxidant benefits. It is great for slowing down the aging process. If you need a complexion boost, it is extremely moisturizing and soothing, so it helps create a super glow. And for the pores, honey is clarifying because it opens up pores, making them easy to unclog. Stick and stay right here on the channel because we will be doing several different types of DIYs at home using honey that's great for the skin. So look for an upcoming video on that. All right, beautiful babes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you learned something new about the product. That's that's the truth. I hope you did. And beautiful babes, I don't want to keep all this information to myself. I love spreading it around. I love sharing it with everyone. And I need you to help me out in getting the word out. Out. So what I need for you to do, hit the like button. Let me know you enjoyed today's video. If you have not subscribed, do that please and hit that notification bell so you'll know exactly when I'm uploading. You'll get a little bing and let you know. And beautiful babes, what is so, so, so important in order to spread the word, you know what you gotta do. Yeah, you know, you got to share me with your world. I do appreciate you and I'll see y'all on the next one.